All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekai, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. Okay, today's lesson is going into, uh, you know, you can see what the, it has it entitled. It says Jerusalem violence. Deadly, deadly air airstrike hits Gaza after rocket attack. BBC, this is from BBC News news but uh i had made a video uh prior to this one here in some kind of way i guess the uh i don't know had uh, volume issues with it i don't know why that was the case but uh maybe it's the headphones i'm using i'm not sure but this one here is uh uh i'm doing it from the car so uh it, it's a pretty good sound so with the bluetooth i'm using you know, uh, with the car, so, yeah, this is gonna be a short video, you know, it's just like a, a you know, last couple of, uh, videos I've done about the update on the Middle East, and, uh, this is another one, uh, this, I think this was posted about a, a few hours ago, uh, so, and, and I think I seen something, on, it might have been Instagram where I seen, uh, you know, they had, uh, someone, one of the brothers posted, uh, uh, they, I think it was a fight with, uh, I guess that had to have been the Palestinians and the, uh, Israelis, you know, I guess, you know, it's like a gang fight out there, you know, a, a car run over someone and the police came and scattered everyone, you know, same, same ways they, they do here, you know with the gang fights or whatever, you know, they shooting or whatever, they're banging on somebody and police roll up, they roll out, they run, you know, scatter like roaches, basically, you know, and, uh, I only got like one precept to this, but, you know, Lord willing, uh, it'll come out and I post this, uh, as soon as I'm done, <laughs> uh, as soon as you're getting it, you, you listening to it, it's already posted, right, but, yeah, let's let a little bit of it play. I think it's maybe 10 minutes long. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's 18, uh, 13 minutes long, but I'm not going to get it all. I just want to, you know, just an update on what's going on over in the Middle East, you know, because uh, this is this is part of prophecy. You know, uh, the, the Lord, Yahweh Bashimi Abishai is speeding up the time for us. So let us let it play. Lord willing, we'll come back with a few uh, precepts. Uh, it's, well, willingness edifying to the flock. About in Israel, first of all, Israel's carried out airstrikes on Gaza hours after rockets were fired from the territory towards Jerusalem. And this comes on a day of intense violence between the Palestinians and Israeli police at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. This is one of the most sensitive sites in Jerusalem in the past few minutes. These pictures have come into us here at the BBC. This is uh, a fire that's taken place outside the Al-Aqsa Mosque. It's unclear how it started. Uh, let's bring in the BBC's Tom Bateman, who's with us live from Jerusalem. Tom, what do you know about this fire, please? Well, it's not clear, uh, as you say, how that fire began. I mean, the point is about these confrontations that have been taking place at the Haram al-Sharif there, as it's known to Muslims, Temple Mount, as it no is known to Jews, uh, to Jews is that uh, you know, there's quite a lot of stuff flying around in the air, not least uh, 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 stun grenades used by the Israelis, firecrackers. Uh. So you can see they're using, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, uh, they say rockets have been launched over there. So it's going to eventually uh, get worse than, you know, what we perceive that it is. You know, it's going to get worse, you know, and... Uh, so let's get the uh, first precept. Uh, this is coming out of the book of Jeremiah. Uh, chapter 15, verse 45. You know, uh, so this is what this is. This is eventually it's going to happen. You know, I brought this out on another uh, video I had done, you know, but it, it surely is going to happen, you know. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 45, it says, Therefore hear ye the counsel of the Lord Yahweh, about Shem Yahweh that he that had taken against Babylon. And it says, And he, uh, 
and his purpose that he had proposed against the land of the Chaldeans, which is this, these are the Edomites, man. You know, even over there, there are Edomites over here in, uh, um, you know, Jerusalem. You know, these are not the real Jews. You know, the real Jews are you so-called blacks, man, or you Negro uh, of the southern tribe, you know, so you can understand, you know. Okay, so let's read on. It says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. See, the least of the flock are, the, are these uh, Jews over there, these uh, Jewish. Okay, so you can understand, you know, that's what they call themselves, right? But they are all the Edomites, and they, they are the least of the flock. Okay? It says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. And who is that them out? The them uh, uh, is America, a.k.a. Babylon. It says, surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. See? So uh, Babylon the Great, which is America, and the least of the flock is Israel over there. He's the, the Lord Yahweh by Shimei said he's gonna make. He he says he's gonna make their inhabitation desolate with them. It says at the noise of the talking of Babylon, the earth is moved, and the cry is heard among the nations. You know, you know you're gonna. It's gonna get worse, man. Okay. <clears throat> now the other video I had brought out. Uh. uh Let's see, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get that, but, you know, I, it was uh, dealing with the uh, mosquitoes. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, I had done it, but it was no uh, no volume from it. So let's see if we can get a little bit of it. If there's one lesson the Wuhan virus has taught us, it's that messing with nature can prove to be fatal. Yet, in the quest for scientific advancement, humans continue to experiment with nature. Here's the latest one. In Florida, 12,000 genetically modified mosquitoes, the first such kind, will be released in open air for the next 12 weeks by autumn. This number is expected to reach 20 million. 20 million genetically engineered mosquitoes. What will they do? Scientists say these artificial insects will help prevent dengue and Zika. But the residents of Florida fear a mosquito apocalypse. Here's a report. Dengue, chikungunya and Zika. They all come from the same family of viruses. They are transmitted by the Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. This species is found both in tropical and temperate climates, invading the Americas, even Europe. Now a biotech firm has released a genetically engineered version of the Aedes aegypti in Florida. What for? To suppress the growing population of these deadly mosquitoes. Oxitec, a UK-based firm, is behind this technology. It has previously field tested the insects in Brazil, Panama, Malaysia and the Cayman Islands. But until now, no genetically engineered mosquito has been trialed in the United States, largely due to pushback from American activists. Now, with an alarming rise of mosquito-borne diseases in Florida, local authorities have been forced to take this controversial step. Here's what the artificial mosquitoes will do. The males which don't bite will be released in the wild to mate with the female population. The female Aedes aegypti are responsible for biting prey and transmitting the disease. The genetically engineered males carry a gene that will pass to the offspring and kill female progeny in the early stages. The male offspring will not die but will become carriers of the genes and pass it to future generations. As lesser females are born, the Aedes aegypti population will dwindle. So how many bioengineered mosquitoes will be released? Around 12,000 males will exit their boxes over the next 12 weeks. And in the second half of 2021, 20 million mosquitoes will emerge over a period of 16 weeks. The mosquitoes carry a fluorescent marker gene which makes them glow, which in return makes identification and monitoring the trial easier for researchers. This step may have been taken to prevent the spread of diseases, but the residents of Florida are not too impressed. 
Many are worried that the mosquitoes will disrupt Florida's ecosystem. Some others fear that gene editing technology could turn haywire and turn the mosquitoes against humans. That's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> you know, and they know, I think, I'm not sure uh, if they lift the ban up in Florida as far as the mask is concerned. But, <clears throat> hey, man, you know, uh, this is going to spiral all out of control. You know, it's going to be to a point where, you know, it's going to be to a point where, you know, it's going to uh, it's going to make uh, them take this next thing to the next level. Meaning what I'm meaning by that is, uh, you know, they're going to say to some of the sort to where it's going to be bad to where no one has taken their, you know, their, you know. The jab or whatever you want to call it, and and people ain't gonna people gonna have to get it blah blah. It's gonna be a hell of it's gonna be a hell of a a, a a ride, man. You know, Jacob's trouble is coming, man, because they know you Negroes are down in Florida. You know, doing it, you know, doing it up, man. You know, uh, I believe the brother from uh uh about a month ago, I seen him. Uh, I think he did a live out there, man, and he showed how the strip was out there, man. It was like it was never even a, a shutdown, man. Hey, it was they was out on women was standing on cars, you know, twerking, and you know the guys was looking, you know, and you know I mean, just just use your imagination, man. I can't think of the brother name. Uh, so lucky for that brother, he's uh. I believe if out of this uh San Francisco camp. I don't think he's with them anymore. I think he probably moved around or whatever, but he's still in the truth and doing doing the work, man. Okay. So let's get one precept and we'll go ahead and end it, man. Uh this is uh uh let's see. Let's go to Proverbs, man, because not Proverbs. Let's go to uh, Book of Psalms, and because you know this, 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 this the devil. You know he's he's thinking he's got everything lined up and he's hey, it's it's all working in in his favor. But you know that's not gonna be so. Okay, thus said the Lord. You how about Shimei I was shy. This is Book of Psalms, chapter one forty one. Let's start at verse nine. It says, "Keep me from the snare of the wicked, from the snares." Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me. And who is that they? This is talking about the wicked man, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, the Edomites. They've laid these traps for us, and they've been doing it for, for, for centuries, man. You know, and the Most High is about to take them, you know, out of rulership, okay? It says, which they have laid for me, and the gins of the workers of iniquity. I mean, gins is going into... uh. That's a Hebrew word meaning, uh, you know, traps. Verse 10, let the wicked fall into their own nets. Why is thou that withal escape? See, that's what the Most High has set up, man. You know, he he hearing our cry, man. You know, and us pushing this truth is, 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 is the Most High, uh, you know, we're crying for, for justice, man. You know, because justice can't be played out. You know, through the so-called uh, uh, government here, man. I mean, well, you know, the government is not going to set it up like that for you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans to, uh, you know, uh, to get justice or whatever you want to call it, you know. So with that being said, man, you know, I want to give all praise and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rikah, Kordash, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And shalom to the hopeful elect.